Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 40 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. So today we're going to look at the types of text available inside of Adobe Animate. So uh, to use the text, you can simply go to the text tool right here and you can see that there are three types of text right here. So that is the static text, the dynamic text and the input text. The static texts are uh, used for those where you simply have to type and you have no instance name uh, that can use with this text. So you can see that this is the static and it does nothing. If you want to code and let's say you want to change the code in between the runtime, then you can use dynamic text right here. So let me just drag it out over here. So let me just go to the dynamic, dynamic text and over here, what happens with the dynamic text is that you actually have an instance name over here. So you can say something like uh, change text uh, change text and what you can do is by using action script or html5 script uh, that is javascript you can actually uh, call the instance name inside the code and then change the text in between the program so this does take up a bit of a more space but uh, that what is uh, it allows us to do and the final one is the input text so if you want to take a, something like a username or a passport a password then you can use input text so you can say something like type here and then this will be an input text so you can also give an instance name to this uh, as you can see so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to test the movie just like this and over here is the uh, regular text or with no instance name so this does not get affected with the programming code this one is the dynamic text and that is what uh, instant name are uh, here for and type here is the dynamic text as you can see i can actually type in my um uh, words over here just like this so that is how uh, the dynamic text works in. So now another one over here is that uh, now I'm using Times New Roman and usually in web what happens is that if you do not have the font installed on the user's computer then the default one uh, then other, other font will show up and that will usually uh, results in designing error. So let's say for example I have virtual DJ as my uh, font choice what I can do is I can select embed and select all of the uh, letters that I want to embed for example right now in this uh, letter I haven't used anything but um, uppercase letters uh, and lowercase letters so I don't have any numericals and if you want to uh, embed all of the font you can just select all and it'll in embed the entire font inside the flash or HTML5 canvas so what this allows you to do is uh, it allows you to send the exact design in, um, in the user's computer and the user's computer will load up uh, no, if, even if the font isn't installed in his or her computer. So this is quite good and it is an essential. Uh, I see that it does not really matter because the internet connection speeds are fast these days and uh, the loading times won't take that long anyway. So you can just press OK and what it does is it embeds the entire font inside the flash or the um, HTML5 canvas. So that is how you work with text and uh, work with different types of text inside of Adobe Animate. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.